Guys, this is D5 Cody coming back at you with another video. I am back. I'm back. I am back. I am so happy to say that. I am so ecstatic. I I I don't know how to explain it, but I'm feeling really good emotions right now, and there's a reason for it. I have found um something to believe in again, and I am involved with a couple other projects, and uh, this video isn't about those projects. I really believe in those. Um, but as everybody knows, my passion was Safe Earn slash Earn Hub. I had given everything I had for probably about six months to that project, built up friendships, and, um, you know, just the friendships and just the community, you know, just seeing it, it just, it just became a way of life for me for six months. And I have been, over the last month and a half, or two months, you know, I have been down in the dumps. And it's because the community that had become a part of me, it was just gone. But why am I excited now? Because Raider Token. Let me explain to you guys. Earn Hub, you know, they rug pulled. They ran off with the money, and they left the community stranded. And the community was a strong community. And Raider Token was born because of the insufficiencies of EarnHub and the team. Um, what do I mean by that is a, a couple community members came to better, together and said, Hey, let's not disband this token or this uh, community. Let's create a token that is for the people of the community by the community and what do, what do i mean by that so in any project you got the community you know you got the token you got the developments and then you got the developers and so essentially raider token takes out the middleman what, what do you mean cody well if you look over here to the mark the right of screen they renounce the token there is no developer for this token and a lot of you are like, but what, what, how are they going to, you know, push the project forward? Well, I'm going to get to that. But let's just read it. It says, no more developments will be happening to this token. You can buy it and forget about it. And don't need to worry whether there's going to be another update at some point. This token is permanent in its current form and will be around as long as BSC is. So, the tokens renounced. They can't make changes to the contract. You know, how many times have you been in a project and they're just like, we're going to freeze it. We got to fix something. We're going to freeze it for two weeks. Your money's locked. Or you guys say, hey, I want to, we want to we do this, you know, and the developer's like, just shoots it down. Well, what's cool is, is there's no developer to get in the way of the community. And as you see, see here, it says a great community with lots of helpful information in Discord and Telegram channels. We are a large group of friends who have fun chatting together in Telegram and doing what we call raids, which are tactical large scale shilling campaigns to awareness, bringing the awareness to our token. So you buy Raider token, you become the pro part of the project. You have a choice to go out and build use cases for the token. Some people want to keep it simple. Some people want to build use cases. That's all fine. The token is what you make it. And since it's, uh, it is renounced contract, you, it is completely safe because you don't have to worry about it getting rug pulled. Um, we can get to the, uh, you know, let's get to the tax. There is a 1% buy and, a, and a, uh, I believe a half a percent uh, sales tax. And this is huge because... It, there's not a lot of in and like a lot of money up front you got to give away and there's not a lot of money like you have to give up at the end like when you sell you know a lot of tokens they'll have a 12% tax or 20% tax like both ways so you'll you'll buy in and you already be and by the time you sell if you break even like at the sell point you're actually losing money because it, it in and out it's like 30% you know so that's what I like about this is you pay 1%, nobody really notices 1%. I mean, gas fees fluctuate so much in any kind of token that, you know, you don't even notice 1%. And that, that's what's cool, because you can, the longer you hold this, 
the you know the more reflections you'll get but then you can also day trade it and not have to worry about like uh, the sales tax so if it's pumping it goes up 20 percent you're like you know what happens after every pump it, it usually dumps uh, just a tiny bit you know every there's always a little bit of a red candle and i don't mean a dump as in go all the way up and back down to four i mean a dump as in there's usually a drop right and since there's a very low sales tax that that makes a perfect opportunity to sell at the top like you should you should sell some at the top and then you can buy back in when it settles back down um this is huge and then or you can just hold it and ride the waves um the lp let's get into the lp the lp is locked to 2100 lp until 2100 coin tool app audited fully renounced contract no large developer or marketing wallet so there's no marketing wallet guys there's no dev wallet, uh, which can tank the price. Designed to be the safest token in DeFi. So, sorry about that. Let's go scroll up a little bit. Actually, was there anything down here? So there's 1% taxes. Um, circulating supply. This is why I am so bullish, guys. 172 million circulating supply right now. Um, I don't think people understand the gravity of this. There is 172 million circulating supply. Let's go and uh, look at something right here. Think is PooCoin. PooCoin. Sorry, my my internet may not load, but I really hope it loads because I kind of need it right now. I'm gonna keep talking anyways, and uh, darn, this sucks. But yeah, so. Um, I just run the end of my video a little bit, but yes, um, there is 172 million circulating su supply, and I wanted to give you guys a visual, but my computer is not loading. But so I'm gonna kind of just sum it up here. Right now, currently, we only have uh, 200, like 212 holders, and so as this thing grows. It's going to be harder and harder to get this token. So if you buy in right now, you're on the absolute ground floor. And so as this thing grows, that that's just going to dwindle down. I think the last time I checked, Pancake Swap only had like 38 million. So you know, right now, if somebody wanted to go in there and buy a million tokens, which we're seeing happen, um, this supply is just going to dwindle down. And so the more people come in. If we get to 5,000 holders, holy cow, like right now is the ground floor. Um, and that was pretty much what I was going to show you. Like I said, it didn't load. But, you know, it's supply and demand. And I believe as use cases are built up, which are going to come soon. Like I got an idea I'm coming up with uh, where you can actually buy something with Raider Token or Fiat or BNB or whatever that is legit you know and and then i i mail you what you order i don't want to give it away completely if you're in a chat you know and then the profits from that is going to go to buying raider token or uh, if i already if you guys send me raider token for this i'm going to send it to the burn wallet or i'm going to create a new wallet so it can get burn reflections because the burn wallet does not get reflections um but I want to keep this transparent as possible. But what I'm getting at here is there's an e ecosystem that's going to be built. People have brought up ideas for NFTs and all kinds of... Like, I heard something about gaming or something. Like, there's just ideas that are coming up and it's going to create use cases for this token. Because from the outside looking in, everybody's like, well, you, you know, there is no use case. You just buy it and hold it and then the next guy gets in and you dump on that person and it's essentially a Ponzi scheme. Well... That's the beauty of this token is it's community driven. So if you want a use case, go out and get it. And I truly believe that in people's head in this community, they're turn it's turning and they're going to create use cases for this. That's going to create volume and it's going to create you know a reason to trade. I think you know people can use this token as a store of value. I compare it to Bitcoin on BSC. Yes, Bit or BSC can get rugged at any time, um, or BNB and all that stuff. But 
from a standpoint of I think you're not going to see a lot of drops, a lot of dumps, especially as uh, new holders come in and the, the and it gets spread out amongst new holders. I so I feel like people can go and make profit somewhere, pull their profit out, put it in a raider token as like a savings account. And then when the time's right, if the token they're looking at drops down in price, they can put money into that, or the raider they could sell raider token and put you know buy back into a token. I I think that's one of the ways. I could see raider token being used as a currency as a way to trade. So one of my ideas, you know, like let's say you buy an item from me, and you know I and you use raider to pay. And the reason why I would be comfortable with that. Is because while I I would have to see this the chart long term right now I don't see the dump the dumps aren't dropping the price tremendously it, it's dropping it just a tiny bit and then it comes right back up and goes higher so there there's just so many things that I can see this token being and I really think you guys should look into this token um you know the sky's the limit and it's all about how this community will take this token going forward but that's just my opinion i'm going to bring you more videos on raider token um i'm hoping to bring you a video soon on rocket fi they're rebranding from into rocket fi from earn pay and then um i'm probably going to do a drip video but i wanted i'm i'm just glad to be back and found my passion again um, there's this token, Raider token, the sky's the limit. And the best thing is, is there's no devs to screw it up. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good one.